if we see in this image, we see that there is a distally inclined or a distally tipped tooth. Okay, this one. There's an arch wire here which has a bend in it. So if we try to imagine what will happen if we place this arch wire into the tooth here, this is how it will be. Okay, it will touch in these two places, bringing a, about an upward movement on this side and a downward movement on this side. So it is going to basically cause mesiodistal uprighting of this tooth. Okay. It's going to bring about mesodistal uprighting. Now we have to identify which type of bend it is in the standard edgewise fixed mechanotherapy. So let us first have a look at what are the different types of bends that are given. So there are three types of bends. There's a first order bend, second order bend and a third order bend. Now first order bends are also known as in-out bends because they are actually going from in to out or from buccal to lingual. Okay, so they are horizontal bends or they are given in the horizontal direction to correct the buccolingual discrepancy or to compensate for the buccolingual prominence of teeth. So there are some teeth which are slightly lingually placed as compared to their uh, adjacent teeth such as a lateral incisor. Okay, so in that case we give a lateral inset. Some teeth are more prominent than others like a canine. So in that, in, in, a, in the place of a canine, we'll have to give something known as a canine offset. Same goes for the molar. So the molars, uh, the surface of the molar is more prominent. So here again, we will have to give a molar offset. So if you imagine this is a lat, uh, this is a central incisor, okay. This is a lateral incisor, and this is a canine, okay. So the canine crown is placed slightly lingually as compared to the central and the canine, okay. So here we have to give uh, something known as a lateral inset bend. So these bends are actually given in the horizontal direction, correct? So you won't be able to appreciate them from a horizontal view. Like from the frontal view, you won't be able to appreciate these bends. So to appreciate them, you'll have to see them from a top view. Okay, like here you can see from the occlusal surfaces. This is the occlusal surface of the teeth. Here you can appreciate the bends. See, it's going from lingual to buccal. So this is uh, an offset here given for the molar. Okay, so these are the first order bends. Now there's something known as second order bends, which are also known as anchor bends. They are also known as tip bag bends. They are also known as artistic bends. Okay. Now these bends are given in the vertical direction. And they bring about mesodistal inclination correction or uprighting of the teeth. They are known as artistic bends because at the end of treatment, when alignment and everything is complete, certain teeth might be uh, inclined in an unfavorable position. So in order to correct their inclination, we give these bends to upright these teeth. That's why they are known as artistic bends or finishing bends. Okay, so these are given in the vertical direction. So they can be appreciated from a horizontal view. So from frontal view, we can appreciate them. Okay, and the third type of bends are torque bends. Now this is done by placing a twist in the wire. So here you see the wire is flat. Okay, there's no twist. And here if you see the wire has been twisted. Now this is done to express torque. That is the lingual inclination of the root. For correcting the root position to do that the torque is placed in the wire that is uh, a twist is placed in the wire okay so if we come back here here we see that this is done to correct the mesodistal uprighting of teeth so this is the second order bend